All right, where are we? Um, we uh, created a pipeline and we've loaded our data. Uh, the data is loaded and we copy the file to the application directory. The next thing is to transform the data. For machine learning model to work with a particular data set, it has to uh, convert that data to a format uh, that is going to understand. And this has to be done using certain classes or objects in ML.NET. Uh, important, most important is to know that uh, string data or text data has to be changed to numeric data. So let me show you uh, the code that is going to do this work. So we are going to transform our data. So it's going to be something called dictionarizer object and also column concatenator objects. Dictionarizer converts the converts the the, the string to let me put a comment so that you transform the data. All right, so this is what happens in this place. So these are uh, swelly lines. Uh, I'm going to remove them. Click on the light bulb and just choose use Microsoft.ml the transforms, and it goes. The next step is to uh, trans we've transformed the data, so let's just put done. Add a learning algorithm for all machine learning model, whether in TensorFlow, there must be a learning algorithm. If you have done some neural network, you know of back propagation, of uh, uh, back propagation algorithm or gradient descent and so on. So there are some algorithms, particularly that is going to be used. In this case, is a classification problem. And ML.NET provides an algorithm that has a very strange name. I cannot even pronounce it, but I'm going to show you uh, how this learning algorithm looks like. So I've copied it. Uh, I don't know why this thing prevents me from looking at my... All right, so I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to add a comment, add a learning, I'll just call it training algorithm, so control V. So you see, it's, it's, the, the algorithm is called stochastic dual coordinate ascent classifier. That is the name of the algorithm. Don't worry about it. Uh, you don't need to worry about this algorithm for now. Then this other very long object called predicted level column original value converter converts back from numeric value uh, to string value so that it can be displayed. All right, so now we need to now train, train this model. So make it, give it some time to examine the data and understand it. That is what happens in training. And to do that, there is just one line that we need to use to train the to train our model. So copy the line and then paste it. So mo uh, model is equal to pipeline dot train. This is the class containing the features. Right? In fact, this is a class that maps to the data, and this is the class, the output iris prediction. Remember, this is the first class we created that contained the features, and this is the last class that contained just one attribute and that is the class. So it's going to use the data and train itself and lines from the feature of the data. All right, the next step, let's look at the PowerPoint. We have done this. We now train the model, we've done it. We now need to use this model to make prediction. So basically, when the code runs, it trains the model and we make prediction at, uh, at the same time. So, but you, you can actually train the model at this time. If I click on uh, build, build solution, and I click on run, it's going to train the model. But I want it to make prediction based on uh, certain data. So I'm going to copy the code. So it's going to be, let me take all this. 
I'm going to explain it to you after I pasted this control V so now I'm passing in a separate length of uh, 0 0.3 0 0.6 1.2 and 1.1 and I wanted to make a prediction by calling the predicted labels method of the prediction so prediction is simply the prediction class and it has attribute predicted label all right so console.read this one is simply to uh, prevent the window from closing all right so now let's uh, run it and then see what happens so i click on run and then allow it to run and then it runs and let's see it takes a while whoop yeah display it says uh, predicted flower class is iris vesicolor right good so it uses two traits and then uh, they are uh, parameters that maximum iteration so about 10,000 iteration uh, through the through the model uh, during learning all right so using best model from iteration uh, 1002 all right, let's check to see if this model is doing well. Um, let's go back to our data set. You see that you have, this one is five, all oh, these are five, three, four, one point, zero point, all of them map to give us a, a class of iris set or sa. But in Vesicolor, we have a higher number 7 3.2 and we have 1.4 which have a higher um a number for the petal weight in the in the for the vesicolor and so on and so forth so what i want you to do is to enter a similar number in the program and see what comes out let's say i increase this to six i increase this to five I leave this as 1.2 and leave at 1.1 and let's train it let's uh, uh, make, make prediction to see what it's going to tell us uh, it should be the first one i think it should belong to the first class so iris set usa okay so let's see so set usa is the first one so i told you you see so it made prediction correctly yeah so that is basically the principle of machine learning make sure you understand this tutorial you follow this uh, clearly and then in the next tutorial we are going to try something else uh, that is more interesting and more practical that will be sentiment analysis to analyze a sentence and try to determine the sentiment whether it's positive or negative i would like to thank you for viewing remember subscribe to my channel and then share this video with your friends also click on like if it's been informative for you and do leave a constructive comment uh, telling me what you appreciate and what you would like me to do a lesson on.